if everyone's ready to get started. Do this. Oh god, they're using their horror voice. Well, I feel like I missed my mark last week. Missing out on Halloween. So it's time to get spooky. As when last we left off, our adventurers had been exploring Waterdeep, investigating carnivals and finding out, myste- finding out about mysterious deaths of dragons. And now we find them investigating said death, delving into the deeps of Waterdeep Harbor. The sun has set, and it is dark as they dive into the water, led only by the sense that Tia holds. And let's just get into it. You are underwater. Luckily, you are all able to breathe thanks to the water breathing spell that has been placed on all of you. And Tia is leading the way. Tia telepathically communicates to you, Bosch. It's ahead. Right, we're we're right behind you. And I will let you move as you see fit. Oh God. Bosch will gesture to the others to follow. Do you have control of Tia's token, Bosch? Ooh, yes. Okay. She said it is, is in this direction. Fair toss whip, slowly wiggling behind Bosch. Swimming through these depths, you eventually start to see the rough shape of a ro- of some rocky surfaces ahead of you. Like a rocky floor? Rocky Rocky, wall? Rocky wall. Does this make geographic sense to someone who knows Waterdeep Harbor? Um, it it does, because it is kind of a uh, with you being inside the bay, there are kind of like little rock outcroppings. Some of them form the actual protective bay uh, um, straight that actually Uh forms the bay. Okay. Uh We'll kind of circle around the side of that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm seeing another wall over here. Mm -hmm. And now it becomes clear into view that you are staring into the dark depths of an underwater cave. Bosch just nods as if it makes sense. Gonna try to swim quietly.
stay together now. No sign of anything apart from rocky walls. Just rocky wall, murky water. Is there any strange scent in the water? Roll a perception check. There is a taste of iron. Uh -oh. But it's not quite what you're used to. Something's off. I would imagine the the mass amount of seawater also could be not being not being accustomed to this kind of environment. Kind of kind of mentally communicating to Eve. I smell something. Bit of iron in the water. It's not exactly what what I'm used to with blood. Really? Huh, I wonder. Um, had we decided that we were able to cast spells with the verbal components down here? Yes, you were able to. Speak. Yeah, water breathing is a pretty good spell. Yeah, it is. Um, Eve is going to squinting around into the cave, uh, take out her little penny whistle, which she is temporarily using, and cast Sea Invisibility, just in case. as we proceed. How many invisible vampire squids are lining the walls all around us? Yes. <laughs> you can roll a perception check. If you really want to know. Um, I'm good. Uh if you do see some some vampire squid, I am getting the fuck out. <laughs> Could be a problem because the invisibility wouldn't help you see something that's just camouflaged. That's true. Wouldn't help see in the dark either. Yeah. So anything that's out of my range just because it's dark, I don't know. Should I make a perception roll? What's or the not. worst thing that could happen? Max, is a perception roll needed? It's not needed, but if you want to roll one. Okay. A 17. Swimming through the water, and you've spent a lot of time on the coast. So I imagine you swam at least some time. Mm -hmm. The water feels thick for some reason. Mm -hmm. We can't speak to each other down here, can we? I mean, you have a mental communication with Veritas. Oh, it's just an open link? Yeah. Veritas. Yes. These waters. I've swam in these waters many times over the years, and they feel thick. There's. I don't know how to explain it, but there's something more here than just the sea. Please let everyone know to be on their guard, yes. 
Yes. And broadcasting out to everyone else. Strange water. Murky. Like a presence beyond your top card now. I'll re I'll watch for behind us. Keep an eye out for the top and walls. Maybe even the floor. I'm gonna carefully check the I I see like a crack on the right. Gosh is going to carefully swim and check out what's going on with this crack in the wall. Kraken! Ah <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You come over to it, and it seems like it... It honestly just seems like a crack in the wall. It doesn't really seem to go anywhere. Um, it's a thumbs up for his shoulder. He's going to stick close to the front of the party to keep an eye ahead with see invisibility up for any unseen threats. Okay. Staying further in the back, making sure nothing sneaks up on us. Since Veritas said watch out for thick water is is there any sense of things slowly changing, perhaps becoming thicker as we head in? With Vertas pointing it out, it does feel a bit off, but nothing quite affecting you yet. Yeah. Yet. Mm. grow stronger, Veritas. Everyone. The iron. Bosh. I can smell the source. <laughs> Coming into your view, you notice the first thing is not rock, nor water, but so it seems to be bones of a fish. not exactly picked clean there are still bits of loose meat sort of drifting off of it and a slow crimson kind of flowing off oh. it's not super pleasant but Ash is going to cautiously approach ish hmm and take a look and see if he can glean any information from any information about what might have eaten it. Give me a... Hmm. I'm debating. Would, hmm. Would this be nature? That's what I'm debating on nature or know. survival. Yeah. No. Someone rules survival, someone rule nature. I, I want them both. I shall... I have been smelling this thing for... I'm assuming for, for a minute now. Okay, I'll okay. give you a nature. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the 21 survival, you can look and see that something large bit. You can see, like tears on the bone and flesh 
that are indicative of bite marks. And Bosch, with the 13 nature, that blood is too thick. It's not blood. Huh. But you don't know what it is. A large predator. Devoured this thing. How big is this tunnel? Um, it, it seems to vary, vary between like twenty to ten feet wide in that sort of range. But something that bit into this had to be able to fit down here. With the 21, with the 21, you kind of, you have that idea of, well, this thing can't have been that big. And you start looking around on the cave walls nearby, and you can see that there are faint scrapes of some sort of leathery flesh, indicating something had brushed by the wall, possibly something quite large. Something might have squeezed through this tunnel. Everyone gathering yeah, in, in in your heads. Something the size of this tunnel squeeze through here. The size of this tunnel? That, that would have to be the dragon, yes? I see bits of its outer skin on the ceiling. Hard for it to choose such a snug place as its lair, isn't it? Safety from bigger creatures. Bosh will look to Tia for a second and point, point forward further in the tunnel, say, in, in her head. Still further in this way? We're close. It definitely is this cave. Moving forward. Around the bend, you see that the passage tightens a bit to ten feet, and then opens up into a split path, left and right. Okay, so this is the part where you split the party. Oh god. Let's split up, gang. the paths. The appreciable difference. Perception Which from someone. Which way does the water feel thicker? That the water feels thicker to the south. Ooh. Yeah. Ash will point towards the set the south and look at Tia. She's 
she unfortunately gives you a shrug. While they way. are... Oh, go ahead. No, that's it. Just can't tell which way. Uh, yeah. So during the minute they were doing that, Gazer Cool is going to use the spell slot to toss the bones just into the water for augury. Mm-hmm. As... So casting the slot so that it takes a minute and... Uh, asks South question mark Wheel and Woe They relay that back to Veritas and then start floating around trying to gather up the bones that are slowly floating away. It seems like it always is wheel and woe. She's just going to start moving towards the thicker goop. He will communicate to Veritas. Keep an especially close eye on our rear now that we have an unknown passage back there. That's what I'll do. Veritas is hanging in the back, listening to see if there's anything that's moved around behind us. Give me a perception check. Fifteen. Don't see anything. Just dark, murky water. Still nothing behind us. We're laying that back to Eve. Good. see Bosch, and then everyone else <laughs> begins to disappear in front of me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Limited dark vision is spooky. <laughs> Eat. You've all been carefully going down this passageway, yes? Obviously. Mm -hmm. Oh, they'd be reckless. Then, then, for funsies, I'd like a stealth check from the party. Mm -hmm. For funsies. Mm -hmm. For funsies. Lift Snake is the stealthiest. The stealthiest boy. Uh oh. 
Oh no. Okay. The tunnel continues to curve, and you start to notice that it takes a slight dip deeper. Holy hell, where do you guys go? <laughs> Veritas, I just see Veritas just inching through the dark. Hold up until I can just barely see Veritas. I was far away. <laughs> it was also disconcerting having Tia lead, realizing that I don't have uh, mm -hmm. vision don't for her. Vision. She just moves away into the darkness. Mm -hmm. That might lead. be on purpose. <laughs> Ooh. You look ahead and mm. you can see that it deeps down into even darker and murkier waters. would like you, Bosch, to roll a perception check. Sure. 18. Gene. Peering into the gloom. You see something. This faint, faint red glow almost sort of flows with the water but then you see it glint off teeth. <laughs> As you see this. I don't, I don't see it, which, oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. yeah. You rolled high down from perception, so it does not get a surprise round on you. I'd like oh. you all to roll initiative. Oh, God! Oh, that is... Fucking idiots. I, don't I know, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> nope, You're bringing out so Nope Shark? Good. I'm bringing out Nope Shark. Uh. So much Nope. Anyway, let's end this uh, creepy ambiance music. Get the creep, creepy battle music. Get the creepy battle yeah. music. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Just uh, let me know when the initiative tracker goes up. I'll oh, roll whoops. It. Oh, right, that's a thing I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since we've had combat. <laughs> yeah, this, just to make it easier. Oof. Um, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna quickly look up combat rules for underwater again. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Well, if we're all at half movement speed. speed. If, you're all at, if you don't have a movement speed, you're all at half speed. Great, great, great. Unless you possess one of the... If you are a melee character and do not possess one of the good melee weapons, which, I'm, surprisingly, I don't think is, you would have disadvantage, because I think Lance counts? Makes sense if it's a thrusting weapon. Is it? Let me look at those rules. It's I, I do have javelin, sword, spear, or trident. Oh. oh. Right, it's heavy. I mean, really, how different is a lance than a spear? Uh, um, lance's chunk is chunkier and a bit wider in the base of it. That's true. That's yeah. true. A spear is literally a stick with a pointy end. <laughs> Fair. All right. Guys, are cool. You have the first turn. Uh, they're going to drift. Let's see. 
15 feet to the side. And launch a third level chromatic ice orb at the thing. I love my life. A ten. As you do the motions to cast this spell, you thrust out and you realize you're underwater. <laughs> it goes wide and bounces off the wall. Uh, as a bonus action, they're going to uh, unfold the Astromancy Archive, and that's the turn. All right. It is the Corrupted Shark's turn. Closes, Bosh. It swims to you. Oh god, it's large. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the token. <laughs> Does a 19 hit? Yeah. As its teeth sink in. Take 20 points of piercing damage, and I need a charisma saving throw. Charisma saving throw. Interesting. That'd be, that'd be correct. As you see this dripping red ooze as it bites into you, seeps into your wound. Am I avoiding being charmed or frightened, perhaps? No. Okay. So much worse. Oh, oh, no. The natural one. All right. Bosh, if you can go ahead and click a mark of exhaustion for me. Oh, no. That's bad. That's really bad. Veritas, mm -hmm. you see just outside of the vision, this red glow, almost soft glowing shark as it bites into Bosch. As the glow has <gasps> to surround you as well. You didn't quite beat its stealth check. Oh, no. Yeah. As a 17 to hit. You got even an ass. Really bad roll on damage, though. Uh, that is only, that's only 9 piercing. And charisma save? And charisma save. Your charisma. Oh. A 13 is enough to pass. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Eve. Eve glancing around in alarm and seeing us quickly be surrounded on two sides will bust out her penny whistle and try to blow into it to cast a spell, realize that it's a wind instrument that she's trying to play underwater, and instead just hold on to it and hum the notes that that resonate through the, the water around her as she casts Bane on both of the sharks. Charisma saves. Charisma saves. <laughs> you got me shitting me. Uh, the one over by Veritas fails. Uh, they rolled a two. <sighs> the one attacking Bosch rolled a natural 20 for a total of 17. Oh my god, it's got a neck three and still fucking up. Okay, alright. Roll, yeah, roll, roll a natural yeah. 20 on its save. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, that's that's a bummer. I was um, rooting for you. Okay, well, the one by Veritas is baned at least. Um, uh, 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 bonus action. She will hum out an inspiring melody in her mind to Veritas uh yeah and you hear her play thank you I'll handle this one that's my turn alright Veritas it is your move and I will make quite the move 
Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's huh? just, sorry, the I, I forgot that I have the Rod of the Rose and can give my inspiration to three people at once. Can I do that? Sure. Okay. Then Theratos, Bosch, Gazrock Rule. Okay. Thank you kindly. Is it? Sorry, continue. Oh, no worries. Uh, okay. So Veritas looking behind at this horrifying shark. And wiggling wiggling the the whip around as it makes strange patterns and casts polymorph I need a charisma save Ooh. charisma save from the bane shark yes oh. is it charisma or wisdom uh, sp- the I am pretty sure polymorph is charisma. Let me double check. It's wisdom. Oh, it's wisdom. My bad. That actually matters. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter for this shark as it rolls a natural one. Oh. <laughs> Minus two from the bang. What would you like uh, to turn this shark into? It's going to change into a horse. <laughs> Oh no. Oh god. A seahorse? No, a regular horse. Turn into a regular horse, starts to drown. Oh no! What is the constitution of a horse? Probably pretty good. Probably. It's it's 12. So it's plus one. Plus one. Also didn't start with any breath. So... There are rules for this. Mm-hmm. It's one minute plus one for your con for how long you can hold your breath. Right, but there's a rule for how long it takes you to actually drown when you're out of breath. Okay. But is that your turn? And as it's a horse underwater, moves over to Tia. Bosch's turn. Right. Uh, obligatory rage. And oh, right, D10. Or. Okay. Uh, I. And. Considering the lance would have been cumbersome, can we say I had a javelin? Sure. Okay. Uh, four is the one where it turns the weapon into a light and thrown weapon, which javelin is already. Um, that changes to force damage, apparently. Uh, and I don't think it's going to affect anything except for that maybe piercing and force do something different um in any case going to attack the thing that just bit me uh and yes reckless would like this to die please um with an 11 on the first attack and 11 will unfortunately miss. Uh, uh, As you pierce in, but all you do is take off dead flesh hanging off this shark. Uh, about a 21. 21 will hit. Is that including range damage? Uh, no. I think so. Oh. 
Yeah, so it would be nine damage total. Uh, I think that is Bosch's turn. And we'll have Tia spend a turn turning to dragon form. All right. Well, in that case, Gazrakul, it is your turn. Cool pointedly looks at Gaz and nods as they reach into their pocket for an item that they have yet to find a use for, but suddenly an idea comes to them as they reach into that pocket and click the sixth face or the fifth face of their cube of force. as an invisible barrier 15 feet long interposes between these walls. I do not nice. believe it actually casts Wall of Force. I think it makes a box around you. Shit. Does it? Let me verify. Thick text. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> so, we're going to amend that in that oh, still useful. Gauze moves. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, I hate this. <laughs> it's 15, it 15 feet on a side, so essentially it is a 3x3 three three square that you are in the middle of. Good point. That's a terrible idea. Forget everything I said. They reach in, try to click it, and then Cool shakes their head. It would essentially look like that. And it would move with you. Right. It would be very much the fuck this noise, I'm out. <laughs> Good point. Gauze floats ten feet to the side. Oh shoot! And then I just remembered something. What? Yeah. I need Bosch and Gauze to roll wisdom saves. Wisdom uh -oh. saves. Okay. To do this. Remember, you have inspiration. What are we saving that wisdom for? Okay. Good that's a D8, right? Bosh, you're too yes. busy stabbing and fighting for your life. Gaz at the... That's 11. 11's not gonna do it. At the start of your turn, you take 5 psychic damage. Ooh. I think Veritas should have also made that wisdom save, I believe. Yeah, because you started to turn Where? next to it. Okay. My apologies. So good. 17. I'm uh, good with pass? 16, right? Yeah, you're good with 16. And 17 passes, yes. It's just Gauss with their 11. Currently. Okay, so how much damage? Five. Psychic. Oh, uh, they just have an aura? The water does seem particularly thick around these sharks god so we're gonna click on that cube of force and what face what face Uh, phase three, living matter can't pass through the barrier. Okay. I'll be alright, guys. Oh, no! 
Gauze, uh, they yell into Veritas's mind. Get in the corner, get in the corner, get in the corner. <laughs> and uh, that, let me see, bonus action spells. That's the turn. All right. Comes to the shark's turn. Boss, you watch as that hole that you punched into the shark slowly heals itself. Oh, shit. It's not good. As it attempts to bite at you, but obviously cannot pass through the barrier. The horse drowns. Oh. Already? Yes, actually. Oh. God damn. I looked up what happens after you run out of breath and you let and you live for your con modifier number of rounds. Oh my god. So, one round, it's dead, but and then instantly turns back into a shark. It is upset. Luckily, you did waste its turn. And hey. it is now yours. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. I'm gonna go ahead. Um. Take aim at the southmost shark since it's angry and Veritas is there. Uh, with a chromatic orb at second level. Aggressive underwater doo doo. Oh, um, let's do thunder damage. You send out this concussive force from your angry dude, and it does in fact impact the shark. Huh. Go ahead and roll damage. 19, that's pretty good. As it slams into it, you can see bits of flesh and bits of that thick red goop kind of slaw off it. Okay, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Gotta back up a step. Or uh, tread water backwards slightly. Uh, bonus action. Eh. Uh, does everyone still look inspired, or...? Who no longer looks inspired? I believe Gaz used their inspiration. Right. Well, little humming song for Gaz Raku. That's my turn. Yes. Shoot. Need a wisdom save from you. Me? Yep. Oh, okay. I revolt that once. Oh, that doesn't help, though. A ten will fail. Well, you are going to take six points of psychic damage. Mm. And I need a constitution saving throw. Ah, okay. Wait, is this for my spell concentration? This is. Oh, I have Warcaster. I think I have advantage on that? That is correct. Thank God. 19 passes. Moving on to Veritas. You bought yourself a few precious seconds. What do you do? Fuck this shark. A mind. A mind blast goes out as Veritas casts dissonant whispers. I believe that's a wisdom save. That is correct. They rolled a five. <laughs> and the damage. Let's see here. 
12 psychic. 12 psychic, and it immediately uses its reaction to flee. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> As it disappears into the darkness. And gets in the little tiny corner. Alright. Bosh. You're in a box. I'm in a box. Um, I'm in a box. Can I... I can still poke out of the box, though, right? Uh, technically, you... yes. Living matter can't pass through the barrier, so just watch your hands. I believe it is all the things below it as well. Or is it all of them? I'm reading. It is a wallet text. Oh, I think I actually know. I think you're right. So yes, your spear can in fact pass through. Or javelin, rather. Yes. You just can't. Yes. So Bach, Bosch will aggressively poke at the corrupted shark. Uh, and since I can see that it can't get at me in here, reckless. Uh, is that the wisdom save supposed to be at the beginning of my turn or at the end? It's the beginning. I keep forgetting that. Yeah. Let me do that. Because uh, it may matter. Who knows? Seven. That fails. It takes seven points of psychic damage. This is fine. Uh, and yes. Oak. Ooh. Natural 20. And we do perfect crits here. Correct. Yes. Although you rolled I so well, I think it's only one, I think it's only one extra damage. Yeah. And additional aggressive poke. Uh, Twenty-two, 22 to hit. hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Cool. Did you begin to fillet this fish? I did. On its turn, did it seem like it healed all the way back? Or it was just a of starting it. feel. Okay. Uh, and right. Dragon Tia will aggressively move over here and face plant into a solid wall. <laughs> All right. Guys, Rakul, it is your turn. Gazraku is going to reach out their hand and charge up the Mizium machine, the Mizium apparatus, to cast. Which bolt at second level? Which is going to be... I love walls of text. DC 10 plus twice the level of the spell. So we're going to shoot for a 14 Arcana check. To see... And that's exactly what I needed. To be able to even cast the spell. So here it goes at second level. A 15 will hit. All right, electrocuting the shark. Lightning arcs into the shark. You create the shark. A tether between you. And that's the turn. Wisdom save. Correct. That's Not great. One. Take ten points of psychic damage. <laughs> Got it. Luckily, that happened before you cast before the spell. Before you cast it, yes. <laughs> a 
after your turn, Shark continues to om nom nom. You see some of its wounds heal. Not a lot of it, though. And Veritas. That shark, uh -huh. that shark dashes at you. Cool. <laughs> oh. But it dashes, so. Eve. Wisdom save. Does she have to make it twice because there's two? No, just once. Okay. Thank oh, God. Fuck. Seven points of psychic damage. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. These things are extremely unsettling, and Eve wants them gone very quickly. Uh, Eve's gonna once again take aim at the southernmost one. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna upcast Chromatic Orb to fourth level this time. Um, let's do... Uh, I'm afraid to hit something it's immune to. Let's just stick with thunder since that worked before. Angry doop doop. As it rushes Veritas. 21 hits. 30 thunder damage. For 30, as as chunks of red and flesh scatter into the water. It's looking rough, but it's still up. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to my, my inspirations for the moment. So that's my turn. Also, to my rules. Bosh, you did not see the fish regenerate in front of you. That is my okay. mistake. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need another concentration check for Bane. Oh, shit, right. Okay. Oops, I'm at... Uh, it doesn't matter. You're fine. Veritas. Wisdom save. Uh, huh? Eat. Ten psychic. That's five psychic, actually, because I take half damage. Yes. Nice. Uh, this shark will probably continue to be pissed at me. Um, as more blaring whispers go about it as I cast another Dissonant Whispers. Alright. With the Bane, it got a zero. <laughs> it took, th it takes 13 psychic damage and it has to run all the way back 30 feet. Yeah. Or... And... The little whip is going to squeeze in this little corner here, around the box. Yeah. And that ends Veritas' turn. Alright. Bosh. Uh, Bosh was looking back and forth because he saw a shark charge up and then run away. Um, but will continue working on the in front of him uh, which his brain backward in time and edited out uh, it regenerate uh, and with like imagining that Tia's removing her nose from the <laughs> invisible wall and he kind of shrugs to her uh, and yeah 
or stabbing. Uh, again, rack quest. We also can't forget wisdom saves. Oh yes, wisdom saves. Yes. Wisdom save. Thank you. Thirteen. Uh, I will go ahead and use inspiration on that. Okay. Twenty-one will pass. Like damage is getting pretty annoying. <laughs> uh, As you continuously rip and tear into this thing, it's starting to look haggard. I imagine that's it. Not much Tia can do inside the box. Guys are cool. Wisdom save. I don't like it. 22 passes. But I am fine with it. <laughs> Seeing Veritas squeeze into where he is, Gazra cool yoinks everyone back five feet. And you do... If your movement causes the barrier to come into contact with a solid object that can't pass through the cube, you cannot move any closer to that object. Hmm, that's interesting. I was about to say, so I can't move into the shark, but I can pull things away from the shark? I'm That's uncertain. weird wording. What's the wording again? If your movement causes the barrier to come into contact with a solid object that can't pass through the cube, in this case it would be Tia and Bosch, you can't move any closer to that object as long as the barrier remains. I don't think you move Tia or Bosch, but you would exclude them, I think. Huh. Okay. Uh... That could be problematic. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know. That's a good ruling. I will cancel the move and do something more traditional. Which is just flex the museum apparatus to continue electrifying this thing with the witch bolt. Go ahead. I just imagine. It, does, it only does one D twelve. But it is automatic. Ah, yeah. So, so just three damage. Three. As you pulse electrical energy into it, it seems upset. Is that all? That's it. All right. Sharks go. Bosh, you see the shark once again heal. Does the shark want to... <laughs> it's pretty upset with you, Bosh, but does it see that... Ooh, that's not good. It smells you, Veritas. And it's going to squeeze into the space. <gasps> it can fit in that space? No it can, way. It can squeeze. There is rules oh. for squeezing. Squeezing is something that any creature can do, where it can fit into a space that a size smaller than it can. However, it does get some detriments. This thing's pretty hungry, so it doesn't really care about those. Because normally it would have disadvantage on that attack, but it's really hungry. So it has advantage. Uh, it doesn't matter when it rolls a natural one, though. <laughs> As it starts wedging its way between the cube and the wall, you can see flesh being torn off it as it tries to bite out to you, but it can't quite reach you. Uh. And you see the other shark come. Kind of bumps its nose into the wall. 
I you see. see. It, is, it is also trying to squeeze in to get to you. Uh, I hate you guys. <laughs> oh god, that's so terrifying. Eve, wisdom save. Oh shit, okay. Oh my god. Ten second. Ooh. I'm rolling real good on these d6s. It's literally 2d6. That is what I've been rolling. Alright, no problem, no problem. Uh, which one of these save. things... Oh, right, shit. Easy. Which one of these things looks the more torn up? Uh, the one that you blasted with thunder, the one to the south. The one that you and Veritas been tag teaming. Okay. Eve's gonna focus on that one. And I'm nervous to spend too many spell slots. She's gonna cast Vicious Mockery on it. Oh, I didn't know it was free sushi night. <laughs> ah, that's what I like to hear. Wisdom save. Natural one. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> but be afraid of the sushi. With Bane is a negative three. Uh huh. So, Excellent. Roll your... Seven psychic damage, and it has disadvantage on its next attack. All right. Anything else? Um. Hang on. Nothing else. All right. Veritas. Actually, uh, hmm? oops, sorry. I'm just gonna move a little bit closer. All right. That's Veritas, it. wisdom save. Twelve. Twelve ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Six psychic reduced to three. Uh, All right. Would it? Would a D4 help? A D4 might might help. It might. Uh, but do you want to reduce three psychic damage? No, that's fine. Good. You already excluded him from the box. Why start helping him now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I we didn't exclude him. He excluded himself. This is like one of those like cages that divers sit in for, for shark encounters and it's just Veritas floating around outside it. Guys? Okay. Okay. I have a plan. I'd love to hear it. Okay, so first, I need the shark in front of me to make intelligence save. Intelligence, it's best stat, really. <laughs> it rolled, it rolled a natural 19. After I subtract 5 from it, it's a 14. It has a 1. It has a 1 Ooh. in intelligence. <laughs> oh my god. You see a, you see a spectral white harpoon shoot into the side of this fucking thing as... Rolothim Psychic Lance pierces it for 29 damage. And it is impaled on the wall, your psychic energy holding it there, causing it to be incapacitated. Stop this thing up! <laughs> That's my turn! <laughs> <laughs> Good turn, Bosh. Uh... Yes, Bosch will try to fuck this thing up. Uh, after you doing do not, a wisdom save. You do have to do a wisdom save. You do not need to reckless. It is squeezing, so you have advantage. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It's 14 wisdom. Mm -hmm. Do anything to it? Uh, I'm going to attack. Okay. You take 10 psychic damage. Interesting. 14 is not the DC. So interesting that you 
only take it if you decide to attack. Mm. Oh no, I was asking if you want to do anything to your wisdom save. Oh, I can't. Mm. I, I use my inspiration. Okay. Uh, but yes, I will attack with advantage because I don't even need to, Reckless. 23. All right. A 22. Okay, it is looking, it is on its last legs. You can see flesh and that weird goop ripping it apart. And it looks barely held together. And yeah, it's going to pound on the wall and yep. begin spending a turn coming back into humanoid form because Feratos looks like he might need some like soon. Mm -hmm. Also, I just realized that Tia should have been rolling these wisdom saves too. Yes. What is that? Uh, three of them that she missed? I think so. Okay. That sounds about right. We'll say three. I'm not going to count. Blank. And one more. Another. Those are all failures. Yes. Please present some damage. 15 psychic. Okay. What a very average roll. <laughs> Exceptionally so. It's slightly below average. It's very slightly. <laughs> very slightly. Guys are cool. It is your turn. All right. We're going to throw out a wisdom save first. Wisdom save. Give it to me. 16. 16 passes. Glorious. Just gonna automatically charge up that next witch bolt. Alright. For eight, eight. damage. Electrifying it. You can see it is so close. <laughs> and, uh. That's it for now. Alright. It is incapacitated, but still heals. And Eve, you watch as some of the skin that you had blasted off with your thunderous concussion begins to knit itself back together as it it squeezes and goes after Veritas. <laughs> Are you shitting me? How is it able to do that in such a tiny space? <laughs> it's not all together. It, despite the fact it has advantage, it has it has disadvantage and it has bane. It's probably gonna miss. Even you. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, so I ain't too sure about that. So let's see. What's your AC? It's a ten. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're, I guess you're right. Cutting words. Shit! Can I use cutting words underwater? Yeah, you can, speak, cutting, uh, right? you can use cutting words. I'll let you use cutting words. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, that's, let's see, uh, let me... Should I roll the d8? Go for it. Yes! That makes the total eight. It misses. Oh! He <laughs> just screams, Shoo, 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 shoo. Yeah. Literally... <laughs> Literally, if it wasn't for Bane and that, it would have hit. Oh my god. Ow. Uh, Gives Veritas a thumbs up. With that, Thank Eve, you. wisdom save. Yep. Natural 20. Natural 20, you're good. Ah, the most anticlimactic use of the natural 20. <laughs> Okay, um, once again, Eve glancing back and forth between these two sharks crammed into these tiny spaces. Which one is looking worse? Oh, the one next to Bosch. It is, you literally see its spine exposed, and you see it cracking under the, the pressure. Only really thin sinew keeps it together. Ugh. 
It is. It is in single digits. <laughs> Mm, is a rapier long enough to stab through the, the barrier? Absolutely. Eat your... swim over beside Veritas. Is it your regular rapier? It's my regular rapier, unfortunately. Chelby's not here. Would be. You have advantage because of squeezing. Okay. Really hope it's not immune to non-magical weapons. A 21. 21 will hit. <laughs> Four hole piercing damage. Poke it in the eye. You slice off one of the sinews holding the spines together. And you can see that it is so freaking close. God damn it. Ah, I should have done a fucking spell. Bonus action? Uh, bonus action. Yell sushi. <laughs> sushi Veritas, wisdom save. <laughs> so done with these motherfucking sharks in this <laughs> motherfucking water. <laughs> I am casting distant whispers and I'm twin spelling that shit. Okay. Yeah. I need wisdom saves from both these sharks. Okay, top one got a six. Bottom one got a got another natural one. <laughs> Bane negative one. They both fail. Get off me, sushi! <laughs> Seven your psychic psychi damage. Your psychic goes into the one to the top, and you can see something kind of snap in his head, and it starts to drift lifelessly. The other one starts to kind of wiggle out of it. It is difficult terrain well since that's ten. And then it can go. We don't get opportunity attacks, do we? I suppose you would, yeah. Stab it. You do Wait, not actually. Have Warcaster. You're able to use the spell. I can use a spell. Fuck it, just die already. First level thematic orb. Fire your shot. Sorry, it's being slow. Sixteen on it. Damage. Ten thunder. Ten thunder. I assume that's it? Yeah. Veritas, For did you want to punch it as it swam away? Where am I able to do that as... <laughs> you actually wouldn't be able to on account of the... Hmm, it's weird. That, that's why I thought, because I'm the one casting it, casting a spell as it runs away. It's more than that. It's been... Hmm. Meta. I mean, I, if you want to, you could. It's almost certainly a disadvantage. Yeah, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do the whip slap on it. Let's go. <laughs> 14 is. <laughs> 14 <laughs> is its AC. <laughs> Just smack it right, right on the fin as it leaves. All right. It's... And stay out! <laughs> Alright, that makes it Bosch's turn. Okay. So, it swam away outside of my vision. Well outside. Yes. Uh, and uh, Bosch will swim up over here. And he'll ready the javelin for an attack if... Uh, it gets within 20 feet. Okay. Guys are cool. They reach into their pocket, press the button, and then swim further back. 
you are releasing the the force cube. Yes. Okay. Is that your turn? That's it. All right. It starts to come back. Bosh, you get your attack. Okay. It's not a reckless attack. 14 hits. Okay. As the javelin sticks into it, it continues to rush up towards you oh and is God. going to attempt to bite you. Mm-hmm. As a soft 20 to hit. Mm-hmm. For 20 piercing damage, reduced oh. to 10. Just 10. And I need a charisma save. How you doing? Oh boy. 14. 14 passes. Oh, thank you. I assume a 16 hits you, Veritas. Yes. As you see the shark rushing up to hit Bosch, you feel movement behind you as the sinew, that dark red goop, bands together on the shark. It continues to regenerate even when it's dead. going to be 17 piercing damage. Uh, um. 16 passes. And with that, Eve, I need a wisdom save. <laughs> Another nat 20. Another 20, you're fine. Uh, feeling the stirring in the water and seeing it suddenly take a bite out of Veritas when it was surely dead just moments before. He spins around in the water and stares in, in horror. Have I read anything about creatures that come back from the dead? Give me an arcana check. I have expertise and ah, oh, fuck me. Twelve. I don't know. Hit it harder. Wow. Oh. All right. Um. Shit, I'm in its range too. Fuck. Uh. So ranged spells would be a disadvantage. That's correct. Shit, I don't have any. Uh, Let's... Let's do... You know what? Let's take a page out of Veritas' book. Um, We are going to go ahead and cast Dissonant Whispers at third level. Which one? The northern one. Northern one. All right. That is, yeah. Uh, It rolled a 19. Cutting words. Can I do that? Sure. God damn it. 17. That's my fucking spell. No, that's one above my spell save. Shit. Oh, it takes half damage, though. It does take half damage. And you cast it at a pretty high level. Yeah. That's a good roll. 22. And with that, and reduced to 11, you see once again, it snap and kind of go limp in the water. Ah. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. how's everybody looking? Um, you see the whip, um, bleeding in the water. For Bosch. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh... Bardic inspiration to Veritas, cause squishy. Is it? Fuck, never mind. Shit, should I save? I don't believe Bosch has it. Bosch uh, has it. That's true. I only have one more, so I can't use cutting words again if I give this out. Yeah, that'll it'll go to Bosch. Oh. Right. I'm tapped out. I'm staying put. All right, we move on to Veritas's turn. Wisdom save. Ah, uh, yeah. Natural Fuck one. this thing. And nice. seriously, fuck this thing. God damn it. Ten's gonna miss. Or are you on the? Are you doing it on the corpse? I'm doing it on the corpse. Okay, 23 hits, because it's not alive and you have advantage. Yep, as, as you, you just shock the you, body. It's just shocking the body. Die! Just stay dead! <laughs> Is that it? Moves away. <laughs> okay. Bosh, wisdom save. Indeed. 21 saves. One. Okay. Um, this this one is looking pretty bad. Oh, yeah. It looks terrible. Okay. Um, then let's be reckless. Uh, actually, before I do that, in this action, uh, thing that fighters can do, second wind. Nice. Ooh. That was great. Nice. I'll gladly take that. Then I will attack. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. The twenty-three. Absolutely. As you slice and stab with your javelin, you can see that it is so close. <laughs> And uh, Ia will move slightly away from corpse and touch whip and cast cure wounds. Uh, which I forget her charisma is her stat for that. Plus three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's plus three. Okay. Nice. Eleven point back. Mm-hmm. Bosh, the uh. healer. Tia, <laughs> the healer. <laughs> you also rolled max on your heal for your own. Yes, I did. Oh my god. Thank you, Tia. No problem. I assume your turn. Yep. All right, Gazraku. Yeah. Am I still in range for winded wisdom saving? No. Okay. Uh, well. All right. Did Tia need to make wisdom save as well, or was she far enough? She was good. They're going Continue. to swim back even further and lose sight of the sharks. So they're just going to hold. They're going to hold, toll the dead until they see the shark if it comes closer. Okay. And they're just going to chill in the back. God damn, you cuss. <laughs> Shark's turn. Bosh, you watch its wounds knit together as it goes in for a bite with advantage. It definitely hits. 
think that's a 27 to hit. Four. 12 piercing, reduced to six. And I need that charisma save. Yes, you do. God, this could be bad. Four. This is bad. That uh, is bad. This, save, save it. Should I? Yeah. Save it. So that's another level of exhaustion? That is another level of exhaustion. Oh, no. As you feel this goop seep into you and start draining away at your life. Mm-hmm. Fucking comes back to life, doesn't it? 28 hits, correct. God fucking damn it. Yep, that'll, that'll do the trick. That is going to be 16 points of piercing damage. <gasps> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I need a charisma save. Oh boy, I'm good at those, right? Come on, plus eight. Uh, 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 uh. A 14 passes. Uh. And with that, uh. Eve, I need a wisdom save. Dear God. Fourteen. It's one under. What? It has two different save DCs! Yep. You only take three points of psychic damage. Mmm, great! Mm -hmm. Um, a roll of con save. You actually rolled two because you got bit. Oh shit, you're right! Mm -hmm. Okay, first one. Shit. No, that's enough. Okay, second one. Also enough. Oh, God. Holding on to that bang. Mm. This is not good. Looking, this is really bad. At, but looking at both your combatants, both your enemies, you can see that what you're doing right now doesn't seem to be putting them down for good. Mm. If only I knew something about this. You could roll Feather Arcana. Will that be my action? I'd say it's your bonus action. Okay. You're not using that anymore, right? Yeah, for the most part. I'll rock my brains! 22. Looking at it and seeing it, kind of start thinking about the environment that's in this deep, dark cave. And I'll end this semi undead, but not quite. You think you need to hit it either really hard, like critically hard, or expose it to radiant damage. Mm. Eve will shout out into the water. Hit it with something bright! Oh, I can't do that, though. I no don't have can. any... Oh my god! We're fucked. We're gonna die. I wonder. I think... I think one of you might be able to. Does now, Tia ten. have some special thing? Exposure to light in general wouldn't be helpful at all, would it? Just damage that is light-based damage, right? It'd be radiant, yes. Mm -hmm. Crap. Okay, 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 okay. This ain't good, this ain't good. Um, this is not great. Um... Who 
who's looking the worst right now? Um, you. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, fuck. I can't waste a turn, though. That's... <sighs> Alright, well, I... As one of few healers, I guess I shouldn't go down, so... I'm gonna heal myself. Third level cure wounds. Wait, where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, just screaming to everyone. Hit it for something light! Veritas, it is your turn. Uh, uh, uh. Wisdom save. Yeah. Forgetting about it again. Uh, that's seven, reduced to three. Uh, and. Wishing we had Virgil right now as <laughs> third level spell, Tasha's Mind Whip. And he had intelligence save on both of them. and natural one for the south one. I think I rolled five natural ones for that guy. And psychic damage to the both of them. They both drop unconscious. Do nat ones on saving throws count as crits? No. <laughs> they won't stay dead! <sighs> I got nothing. It's back up five feet. Alright. Bosh. Mm -hmm. Some save? No. No? Okay. The shark in front of you has starts l being limp and is kind of drifting in the water, but you can watch and see that red ooze is starting to knit itself back together. Yeah. Um. Ash doesn't have a lot of options for what to do about this. Um. Bosh, give me a. Give me a wisdom saving throw. It's not for damage, just, just for me. Okay. 20. 20, yeah. If you take another point of exhaustion, I'll let you switch to the Radiant Bolt. Rage. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't do it, I've got an idea. <laughs> Meta gaming. Um, <laughs> well, well, you could so also, you could also try to get more exhausted. You could also try to go for a critical hit. You have advantage for free, and you can move away for free. I uh, was trying to recall if that... Is that radiant damage? Oh yeah, I guess it is. Well, it didn't occur to Bosch, it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to Continue stabbing as much as I can with the javelin. Alright. Uh, since they're not resisting, I should have advantage, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Fishing for crits. No crits. And getting that. Mm -hmm. So close! Well, 
well, that's that. Uh, apparently, Gazra Cole has an idea. Um, also, so is is Eve looking much better now? She's bleeding into the water, but you know, she's better than she was before, significantly. I would say that you are technically worse than she is, just on kind of like a percentage scale sort of the deal. You obviously have more hit points, but she's missing less hit points than you. Mm-hmm. Okay. If that makes sense. And he is going to wash, apparently. Amazing rolls again. Ooh. Just max damn, just max healing. She's a natural. Apparently. That's my turn. All right. Gods are cool. What spell is it that you want to cast with the Missium? Uh, Mm -hmm. I really wish they weren't there, but it's sickening radiance. Sure is. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, no. You remember this spell, Cassandra. Oh, yeah, you know, the one that you almost TPK'd our party with. (laughs) Yep. Gazra it's also, Cool it's also a feels scene. really yeah feels really bad for a second but sees <laughs> that uh, their friends are floundering punching corpses and they're all going to be corpses unless they uh, do the thing so they think back to being shown a demonstration of uh, a wizard showing how to corrupt radiant things, and they reach back to that memory and attempt to cast it with the Mizium apparatus. You succeed. Nice. I think. Everyone mm-hmm. in that radius, which is pretty big. Yeah. Let's roll a con save. I'm going to try... Yeah, it's gonna start at that point. Fuck me. This is fine. This is probably gonna hurt. I'm having flashbacks to a different campaign. Okay, okay, okay. It's not terrible. It's a DC yep. 15. Luckily, you did roll pretty bad on the damage. Rush is going to use inspiration. Alright. <laughs> 17. So. If memory serves, sickening radiance is a saver suck. That it is, I believe. Do dead things get a save? They do. Fucking hell! That's a con save of 15, yep, yep. I can't cutting words, anyone. Alright. Eve, you take 17 points of radiant damage and take one yep. point of exhaustion. Oh boy, yep. I'm afraid to say it, but. Bosh. Twenty-eight hits, right? Oh. Yeah. Passed. Passed their save. Oof. Uh, Bosh, I'm sorry. That is 25 piercing damage. Rolled max okay. damage. So reduced to uh, 12. Luckily, you're resistant to it. That's and a 15 past, charisma save. Past your charisma save, and... Osri, you Cassandra. What? Odds or evens. Oh, God. Odds. They both passed! They both passed. Fucking shit! Gaz did yell out after the casting for y'all to get the hell out of the glowing green orb. It's going for... TM. Uh 
rolled real bad. Uh, 14, I think, misses. Oh god, what is Tia's? Yeah, that misses. Alright. Eve. It's at the start of their turn that they have to make the save, right, Josh? Uh, yeah, when they start their turn there, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Con? Oh my god! I'm gonna roll the shark's con save again. This is it, this is it, this is it for me. They still passed. One of the world man 20. This is it, how much? Hit me with that damage. Yep, gotta hit him with the damage. The sharks both passed. Yep. Both sharks passed. And save a sec. <laughs> As you shout out to Eve to get out of the brilliant green orb. She starts to move in the water and then just convulses and is still. Alright. You take another point of exhaustion. Okay. Oh no. I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Bertas, wisdom save. I ain't gonna cut it. Seven reduced to three. And what's the range? How far is this? Is the sickening radiance over everyone? Uh, uh, let me remeasure. It's like it's, thirty feet, and it goes to the wall. Yeah, it is like right in front of you. Oh. Why? Can you keep that up at 30 feet for me? How do I do that? Damn it, I messed that up. Because, like, it is truly, it is a big spell. Yeah. Actually, can you do me a favor and measure out 60 feet? From the point uh, that it starts, or just across? Just, just anywhere. Preferably in a straight line. Uh, horizontal. I'm gonna try. Oh, it. let me back the map right the fuck out then. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try to define it for, for Veritas. spell. Uh, like, you can't see the other side of it, Big. Because what I'm thinking of trying to do is getting, squeezing into range to where Tia is and casting Thunderstep to bring Eve out of the sickening radiance. 
can you survive? That would damage everybody, though. Time? That would. It would. You would also still need to roll for the sickening rains, because I believe it's also when you enter it for the first time. It's when you enter it, too. Mm -hmm. This was kind of a desperate shot, but we were in uh, somewhat desperate circumstances. Mm-hmm. Hey, if anybody here was going to kill a party member, it just makes sense that it would be God's cool. Even when I'm not trying to murder the party, I murder the party. <laughs> I'll say this. You likely won't kill Bosch or Tia, but you could seriously maim them. Yeah, I mean... We guys are cool is thinking you know maybe we Bright might side. just have to pack this mission up and try again later mm -hmm. bright side of the thunder set though you would damage the sharks and likely make them fall unconscious again yeah and this is trying to save someone from from dying because eve is this is the closest it's gone down to the wire in a while I'm sorry, everyone. I. Eve's about to die. Take a step into the sickening radiance as I'll roll a con save. Natural 20. Nice. Taking you to take no damage. Rushing in. I'm so sorry. And the whip roll it, getting around Tia, touching Eve. And understepping them both out of the sickening radiance. All right. Con saves. Bosh, do a con save too? Yeah. My spell save is 16. It's 10, right? 10 feet. Um. Thunderstep is in back 10. Yeah, so that would also hit both the sharks. Yeah. Good. And roll roll the damage. Uh, it's like I want, I don't want to roll too high. It's 17. It wouldn't happen to be a save or suck, would it? It is not. That would be great in this scenario, guy. It would not be great because then the sharks would still be up. Oh, they didn't. They have oh. high con. They have high con. But Tia and Bosch take half damage from passing. Mm -hmm. The sharks are unconscious. I assume that is your turn, Maritas? Yes. Bosch. Roll a constitution saving throw. One more. Yep. Twelve. Twelve. You don't have to fail, correct? Any more. I will remind Gazra Cool that you do have your reaction. Uh I'm going to burn it as the Astromancy Archive lights up. Damn. I hate everything. Unfortunately, that fifteen, fifteen radiant and a point of exhaustion. What are you at for example? Okay. Is that four? Right, three. Three. That's his oh first one God. from the sickening radiance. He's got two from the sharks. That gosh, I'm gonna turn and go. Oh, I don't feel so good. Make it ten feet towards the area, away from the area. He is, he is quartered. Uh, oh, like he could dash. He could dash. He could dash. Get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do that because right. I don't want him to die. Right. Yeah. Uh, get out of there. Constitution. Yeah. 
got this. She's a dragon. No problem. Name is better than Basha. Oh, she's oh, fine. Let's go, damn. She's fine. She can exit. And now I may inform you that to those of you that have left the sickening radiance, you may remove the exhaustion that you gained from the sickening radiance. Oh. Hey. Only lasts while you're in the sickening radiance. Can kill you while you're in the sickening radiance, but. Yes, that should reduce Eve back to zero levels of exhaustion. Unfortunately, oh. Bosch, your two from from the sharks remain. Because you got both of yours from the Sickening Radiance, I'm pretty sure, Eve. I don't remember, but I you, actually sure I did you... take full damage from it twice. So yeah, that would have been both from it. Mm -hmm. All right. That's your turn. Guys are cool. Uh, they just hold out their hand sheathed in the apparatus and maintain their concentration on the spell. Roll an intelligence saving throw. That's Ooh. 20. You should push the box. Which direction? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I should that push the you used box. before? <laughs> like the cube oh, the cube floors. <laughs> yeah, they press. Mm. Yeah, they're going to press space three. Press three. Living matter can't pass through the barrier. Oh. <gasps> This cube springs up around you. How long does sickening radiance last? Uh, sickening radiance lasts for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Nice. Your cube lasts for one. Ooh. Uh, but I can keep. But pressing. you can keep pressing it. In theory, yeah. you could press it over and over again. Yes, and I. Using phase three, I have 30 more charges, so that's also 10 more minutes of repeatedly pressing three. Damn, that's a lot of charges. It's uh, a really good thing, a really good and artifact. Just, and I just did the rolls for their con save. As you watch this one disintegrate into the water, this one rushes bonks into the the wall and then also begins to evaporate this light searing its flesh causing it to just fade away Eve wake up wake up Eve as the whip is hurriedly I do grabbing out a potion. Death saving throw from Eve. Just one. You got it. Fail. That is a fail. But Veritas is turning next. would do something. Um, Veritas would be the first to act. On a head. Yeah, before before Tia could get there, he, the whip is already taken out of potion and is trying to get Eve to drink it underwater. <laughs> it's a little tricky, but I'll allow it. Please wake up! Wake up, Eve. Seven points of healing. As you try to feed Eve this potion underwater, her still free-floating body just convulses again, and she starts coughing and gasping, but it's just water, so it's these disturbing, gurgling noises. <laughs> what happened? Are they dead? Are they dead for real? They died. Is everyone okay? They're, they're good. I almost lost you. Oh, Shia. 
<laughs> Thank you. Nice. Oh, that was... That was terrifying. Um... We are, we are all beat to shite, aren't we? <laughs> I don't feel so great. Oh dear. I have to let sister know. We, we can't keep going further down. We'll die at that rate. Yeah. Yeah, I think a tactical retreat is in order for now. Veritas cast sending. Cast sending. Sister, we're heading back. We almost died to these undead, corrupted shark creatures. We're making post haste back to the surface. All right, hurry back. The lantern's on. You should be able to find me. Meanwhile, seven healing to everyone. Oh my god. Alright. Guys were cool. I'd like a quick arcana check. And... 21. You know beyond a shadow of a doubt that they were not undead. Because if they were, they'd go through your wall. Right. Mm -hmm. They were something else. Something very much alive, but very much wrong. First off, we would like to... Uh... We feel that custom dictates that we apologize for the extreme measures taken to defeat these creatures. Secondly, they weren't undead. This cube that we took off that necromancer the day of our first meeting, it wouldn't have... A, if they were undead, they would have passed through the barrier, which we erected to keep living matter out. Whatever those creatures were, it was altogether a different categorization. That's disturbing. They attacked my mind. Perhaps when we get back to the city, we can do... We can pay another visit to the library to give... an opportunity to specifically check what they might have been. Yes, having some more knowledge regarding this issue would be very helpful. If we... If we hadn't figured out what to do to get them to stop coming back. If I hadn't remembered that knowledge. Uh, no apologies necessary, Gas Rockful. You did what you had to do. If it hadn't been for that, we all would have perished down here. That is indeed the calculation we made. Stop standing around. We need to get back to the surface. Yes, we can't chance let's go. another one of those showing up. No. I'll hold. Gus waits for them to bump into the wall before he turns it off. <laughs> and then after someone bumps it, they turn it off. Does the water feel felt like it's gotten is it still thick? If it does feel lighter. More like water. Still thicker than normal. And still definitely with that strange iron smell to it. 
but definitely weakened. Let's go. I'll hold the back. Who's looking the worst right now? Probably you, Eve. Bosch is still exhausted, though, as well, right? Yes, and Bosch isn't that far away from you. Okay. Um, Eve's just going to put one more cure wounds into Bosch as we leave. to leave this cave? Yes. I believe yeah. so. Alright. Swimming out of the cave. Do you do so carefully? Mm-hmm. Yes. Then I'd like a stealth check. Oh, God. If we get caught, we're gonna die. Yeah, that ain't great. Mm. Most of them work okay. Oh, that's right. Bosch should be a disadvantage, but it's not. Yeah. It's already did a four. It's already pretty bad. You're moving through the cave. Making your way towards the exit. You're almost there. And then behind you, you see that red glow beginning to approach. I think you should swim a little faster. Can outswim them. There's no way we can outswim them. I would like everyone to roll a constitution saving throw. How far off does the glow look? Looks like it's still around the corner. (gasps) Um, If I were to... Hang on, let me check my spell real quick. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see. Shit. Even when it's not cast as a ritual, this would be a fucking one minute spell. We don't have one minute, do we? Let's see. 21. 14. see the red glow approaching. Definitely don't have one minute. Oh, God. You see, it's a lot bigger. (gasps) Another constitution saving through everyone. Thanks to Veritas. There's one right behind me, and it's much bigger. If something happens to me, keep going. Uh, Tell Gazrakul to grab my bag. Question. Max. I might have an answer. Veritas sees Eve and sees <gasps> Gaz slowing down. You see Eve starting to pick up the pace, actually. 
I mean, seeing that, who wouldn't? However, you see Gazra Kool and their flowing robes get snagged on a rock. Um, can Kertas we do things? would go back for them. Oh, God. Uh, seeing Veritas turning around and coming back, can we do something? Ver- you just hear in your head, Eve. Keep I, going. I'm going to offer you all this. You may, to avoid combat, expend, try, to collapse the cave. Eratos wasn't intentionally trying to collapse the cave. He was trying to go back to Gaz and thunderstep them far away. The thing I was going to do was dimension door someone. Dimension door someone? So if we've still got access... Well, how far does thunderstep go, though? Not that far, not, right? Not, not compared to dimension door, no. 90. 90 we, for Thunderstep? That's for not thunderstep. bad. Yeah. But we could only take one person each with us, so that would leave one person behind. That's correct. That's not That's not ideal. Gazra Cool whips around, uh, threads their arm through Eve's, and clicks on the face. Face five, nothing can pass through the barrier. <gasps> okay. You watch as this massive shark comes and impacts your force cube. Nothing can pass through it, but you feel like your cube almost start to get a little bit hotter. This thing is bigger, this thing is meaner, and you can feel that kind of oppressive heavy water start to kind of filter in because you chose nothing it does keep it at bay for now yeah Gaz is just trying to buy time for everyone else to make their way out and he heard Eve say teleport so Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hold out for as long as we can to give everyone else time to swim okay Mm -hmm. with that that will actually give everyone time to escape Oh my god. <gasps> nice thinking, Gus. Wow. But you will need to expend two more uses in addition. That's fine. That's another 10. Brings us down to 15 left in total. All right. This thing, huge, so much bigger than the ones that you fought, gnawing and biting and scratching at your your thing. You start to feel that oppressive wave, and time to go. As Eve, you dimension door? Mm-hmm. With God's rock cool. Mm-hmm. You dimension door, I and you... The surface will, possible. And, and you are actually close enough that 500 feet will take you to the boat. <gasps> As whew, you whisk away into the boat. You are all back in the boat, drenched in water and drenched in blood. As you learn that there is a something terrible deep in the Bay of Waterdeep. That's where we're at tonight's session. <laughs>